video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how I made a Red Stone Command Block clock. A clock? Yeah, a clock. How did you make this Red Stone Command Block clock? Um, we basically made it from directions in Minecraft. We used lots of command blocks, a minecart system, and a tiny bit of building. Mainly the challenge was the command blocks. Cool. Why don't we do a quick introduction to some command blocks. I think you've got two of them related to time down in front here. So one of the easiest command blocks or commands for me is the time set night and time set day. So basically all it does is when you activate the command block, it turns to night or it turns to day. So here's so here are the command blocks if you want to put them in your world. You can only do some creative. Slash time set day. So oh. impulse is the kind of command block you want. Needs redstone or always active. Um, that basically means it doesn't need a power source or is it always going to be active. And you probably want to switch it back to needs yeah. redstone. And you want to make it unconditional. So how I made the clock was with some different command blocks. So you can just grab any command block and change it to a repeating command yeah. block, can't you? Yeah. Can you put one down and then change it? So the impulse, chain, chain repeat. and repeat. So repeat is purple, chain is green, blue, and the original one was uh, sort of this orangey yeah. beige color. And those are the three types. Mm -hmm. So basically here, there are command blocks dropping sand, and when it gets just about, I think it's up here or so, this whole column will disappear and, and one sand block will add over to this column. And there it goes. There we go. So this red part right here is a colon that separates the last one minute. It just happens to be moving so quickly it's more like <laughs> we're measuring seconds. And we did that on purpose so that we could actually show you how the clock works. Uh, okay. So when the minutes right now, those are the units that you're clicking on right now. Right, like one, two, three, four, five. What's that? What's the red bar going across? So this pink bar separates. So it's so this is the five mark. This is the ten mark. So right now it's about ten six sixteen ish. Yeah. Now ten seventeen. Eight. Ten eighteen. Now ten nineteen. Now ten nineteen. Now it's mm. ten. Oh. 20. 21. 21, yeah. So it just 22. keeps going on like this forever, basically. So the far right column is the units. They go up to 9. As soon as they hit 10, it pops one over onto the tens column. It pops one over to the hour column once you've hit 60 minutes. So when that, when that one hits 6, it, it will, will disappear and, and pop one up to the hour from 10 hours to 11 hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In fact, we might see that in just a second. Right now, 10, 57, 10, 58, 10, 59, 10, 50, 10, 60. Oh, wait, that's not 10, 10 60. 60. It's, it's 10, it's 11, 11 and 2. 11 and 2. 1102. There you go. So that's how the clock works and it cycles all the way back over. So why don't we go show some of the command blocks behind the scene as to how it's working. So over here, this mine card basically controls when a block from the unit drops. And the, and the command is sort of simple. So all it is is set block, then you do your coordinates, and then your block, which we did Minecraft scene. Yeah, because it's got to be a block that drops and yeah. what we have here on the bottom is it's an impulse block meaning it only executes when it gets triggered by redstone right when it has a pulse come to it you can see on the right it needs redstone yep. there's no other conditions it just needs an impulse triggering redstone and when it gets that it drops a block at those coordinates of sand because it's sand it falls all the way down to the unit spot mm -hmm. So that's only the command block that basically starts this whole chain react. So at first we made it a bit too big because I thought it would have to be that long. But then it took ages for like one sand to drop in the units. So we made it smaller and it started working. Yeah, the smaller it was, the faster we could watch the clock work. So yeah. it's not real time right now, but it was more fun to, to watch it cycle through the minutes, mm -hmm. the tens, and then the hours. Mm -hmm. 
So that's why we made it a shorter track. If that's just dropping the sand, what's making the sand clear? And what's making the, um, the things count up? Let's go check those out. Okay, so... Let's go look at the units first. So this is the big line of unit command blocks. So first, this purple command block, which is a repeat, always active. That means that every single second, every, every single second, second in in uh, Minecraft, it's it's activating. It's looking. Yeah. It's looking. It's looking. It's looking. Yeah. It's checking. So this command block senses whenever there's a block of sand up on, I think it's the 10th block on the units, and then that's what triggers these, these command blocks. And all these command blocks only have different coordinates, and it's a set block coordinates air, which basically means that when this reaches about this block, it clears this whole column. Yeah, when it reaches the 10, when it, so it's about to. Let's go back and watch it signal those command Please? blocks. Yeah. See if it Any works. There, boom. Yeah. Just cleared them all, and then it did that. What did that do? It turned. It dropped another block, sand block. Right? Yeah, in the tens column. In the tens column. Perfect. And then, and then after that reaches the six. So it, now we'll go over to the tens, the purple block on mm -hmm. the tens. So again, it's it's execute if block your my coordinates, and then sand. So it basically does the same thing as the units, which is. It sees and sends a pulse if it senses Minecraft, the sand in the sixth block, which is like right here. Right. Perfect. And then, so, okay, and then it, it does a pulse and uh, yeah. it just wipes the blocks. Those Each one of those says set, set the sand now to air, clear it out, and then there's a pause. And what do we do at the end there? Um, it just um, puts a, uh, some sand in the hour comb so that can get started. So, yeah, and I think I just saw goes, a pulse, yep. yeah. So then the hour column. It is the same as the other ones. It's if the block goes to 12, I mean, 13. <laughs> yeah, if it turns 13 o'clock, then... Then it gets, it, it triggers this, it wipes out everything, and this is useless. What the heck? What, what, what did it do? Nothing. It just a random command block. It was oh, it was this. empty? Yeah. And then it triggers nothing. Okay? <laughs> and then it triggers nothing, apparently. So we deleted this command block because the real command actually, it deletes everything in the hours column except the last block, which is 1 o'clock. Now, there's a difference here. We did, built this in Java edition. Yeah. Right? But mm -hmm. the instructions, which are at Minecraft EDU, uh, explain this from a bedrock or a Minecraft EDU perspective and they use different commands so let's pop one of these commands blocks open again and let's go to the purple block this is the one that's always looking right and it executes if that particular coordinate has sand now that's the new command in Java 1.13 however the bedrock or the EDU version uses a different command. They don't have execute if. They use a different command in the yeah, bedrock. But they, do, but they do the same thing. They do the same thing. It's just different commands for the command blocks. Mm -hmm, different and commands. So we'll pop that up on the screen here. And the EDU version is what you'll find that we used as the basis for building this. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I think that's basically it. That's basically it. So thank you all for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Good. Bye. Bye! And if it was the first video you've seen the rose, please do consider subscribing and be sure to leave a thumbs up! If you want to see more of these EDU tutorials, leave a comment down below.